Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Boxed. In today's episode, we will be opening up the Loot Anime Box. This is not a recent one. This is one I picked up on the Loot Vault website, so it is an older theme. Um, if you haven't already, you should check out my Loot Vault uh, order opening video. Um, and you should check out the Loot Vault site yourself and see if there's anything you want to get. That's where I picked this up for a really good price. Um, but how Loot Vault works is they'll put up old stuff, and so... They put up some of the loot anime boxes and they had a really big sale going on recently so i picked this up so we're gonna go ahead and get this open up and see what's inside of it this is gonna be one of the last box episodes that i do and i'll get to that at the end so let's go ahead and let's get this opened up so let's give you guys a quick little sneak peek of what's inside so let's start with the shirt yeah let's start with the shirt first so it is from blame and this is what it looks like this is a really cool design. I don't watch anime, so I apologize for if I get a lot of this stuff wrong. Um, the box looked pretty cool online, so I thought I would pick it up. This is the t-shirt design, so that's a really cool t-shirt. Alright, what should we do next? Let's do this little plush next. So this is from Sanrio. It is from Eva or Ava Micro Macro. This is what it looks like. Just a cute little plush. So that's kind of cool. Alright, next up we have a manga it looks like or I don't know exactly what this is. Oh, it's an artwork book from Gurin Lagan. I apologize if I totally butchered that. This is a Loot Crate exclusive and this is what it looks like. This has different artwork inside of it which is pretty cool. I love getting books like this with just artwork in it. It's just so fun to look, to flip through them and see what kind of stuff people design. So this is pretty cool. Um, let's do our pin next, because I actually know what this is from. This is from Voltron, Legendary Defender. So that's a really cool pin. That is an awesome pin. This, see, I know this, and this actually kind of makes the box worth it. This is a really cool pin. I'm excited about that. So next up, we have a phone charm. So this is one of those charms you can put in your headphone jack port, um, and it hangs off of that. I do not know what this is from. I apologize. Um, if we get one of the like monthly booklet that tells you what comes in it, I'll flip through and talk about everything again. But this is what it is. It's a pretty cute little cat. So I don't know if I would use this, but I have some friends that love anime that I might give this to because this is just too, this is too cute not to get some use out of it. Like. Alright, so the last item before the what tells you is a cell phone stand from Knights of Sidonia. Let's go ahead and let's get this opened up and see what this looks like. I believe they were selling this by itself, but it sold out pretty quickly. And I was get I actually wanted to get it, so that's actually kind of cool that it came in this box. So this is what it looks like. And then it looks so you connect it like this. And then you can put your phone in it. That is kind of cool because actually um, I have like a little bedside thing that I put my phone on each night and sometimes it doesn't always stay up. So I can actually use this to keep my phone on. This is really cool. I know I have no idea what Knights of Stonia is, but this is a really cool like character. And even if you don't want to use the cell phone stand, it's a pretty cool just like figure in itself. It's just a very, it's a flat figure, but it's a cool figure in itself. So anyways, the last thing in the box is this poster. So I believe with the the regular loot crate, they give you like a little pamphlet. Um, but in their other crates that aren't necessarily regular ones, they usually give like a poster. I know for loot gaming, they do a poster because I've gotten loot gaming before. So this is the poster. It's kind of hard to show the whole thing. Um... It just says it is by Will Overton of Advocate Art. Alright, so let's talk about each thing. So we have the exclusive Knights of Sidonia phone stand. We have the Voltron pin. The Blame t-shirt. So, this plush. So it is Evangelion Micro Macro Mini Plush. And you had you could have gotten one of two. I don't know. I 
because it says you can get Rei or Asuka, so I got one of those two. Um, if you guys know which character this is, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, I apologize for messing anything up. I'm not a big anime person, but this box seemed interesting. Oh, the theme was Rise Up. Um, this is Kitty Mecha Rise Up Charm. So I believe this is an in-house product. I don't believe this is from anything. I believe this is just something that Loot Crate made. Um, it says, as seen on the poster, when the universe needs her, Yume suits up and pilots this mech to victory. And then lastly is the limited edition art book. But that was everything in the box. So this is actually a really cool box. Um, they had another one on the website. So I think what I might do is because in every Loot Vault order, they give you like a golden ticket coupon. It looks like this. Um, so I'll see how much the coupon is for. And there was another Loot Anime box on there that I might get because this is really cool. Even though I don't know everything that came inside of it, these are still some pretty cool items to have. And I can give some away as birthday presents. I know a ton of my friends that love anime and I may have their birthday presents covered now. So definitely check out Loot Vault because they do have some really cool stuff that you can get for yourself, for other people. It's ton of stuff. This is not sponsored or anything, but this is like, I will say as much as I'm not a huge fan of like the crates themselves, but again, you know, that's just a personal preference, not like in the crates. Um, it's really fun when they put on the individual items because then if I don't like the whole crate, I can get like individual items. So it's really, really cool. Um, but anyways, if you guys have any other ideas for other segments on my channel, because this is going to be one of the last episodes of Boxed, um, a lot of subscription box services are changing how they're doing things, making things more expensive, changing their boxes from like monthly to quarterly or sending them instead of selling them on their website, sending them to retailers. So it's going to be a little bit harder for me to be doing my box series since these boxes will no longer be in my price range or readily accessible. So if you guys have any other ideas for any more segments that I could do on this channel that you'd want to see on this channel, let me know in the comment section down below. I would definitely love to hear what you'd love to see from this channel in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching and as always, don't forget to subscribe.